What's up, fellow nerds and virgins? It's your local dumbass here, and we are back with another video. And today is the fucking day. I haven't really said what we're doing. I haven't hyped that up at all. What we're doing today, but today we're doing a collab with Cole's Collectibles. Should be really fun. Cole's a good friend of mine. Also, my homeboy Abraham's gonna be here. My homeboy Oscar, and we're going to Stockton Con, our local little convention uh, that happens here in the in the 209 area. And, you know, I'm the local dumbass from the 209 to the 916 to that 619 all the way up to the 187. You know, <laughs> so like I said today, going to be going to Soctacon. And one of the things that I'll be doing at least is getting this Funko Pop by Rob Van Dam signed. Already have uh, paid for the autograph and everything through the little online service and yeah, should be really fucking fun. Should be cool to hang out. I'm not actually planning on spending too much money there. Because I've already paid for this. I've already paid for my entrance. But uh, yeah, it should be fun. Let's see, uh, see what cool shit they have. And uh, I'll meet back up with you guys when we're there. Boop! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! Here with Cole's Collectibles, man. <laughs> Tom, hey, got hey, Oscar. Hey, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, I ain't deleting shit. <laughs> I'm about to say some racist ass shit. Alright, that's cool with me. They can't, they can't, they, they, they canceling you, not me. Let's go. Cool. Cool on that Take some horkies, Michigan machine. That's some cool shit. It's gonna be done. You realize that con is just basically walking around and trying not to bump into people. It's basically what a convention has become. Oh, damn. Spicy. Cole, you got to recreate your profile pic, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Luffy head. And then you gotta get some black paint. <laughs> if people don't know your profile pic, they're not gonna get that, but that is extremely just. See, told you. Abraham getting a Godzilla? How much for what? I'm about to be asking everyone if they got a card reader. <laughs> Why, you ain't got no cash? How the fuck were you gonna get all your autographs in? Huh? Some of them do, but some of them don't. They better have an ATM in here. Better hope. 
Honestly, some of them accept like fucking PayPal or whatever too, though. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you'll get lucky with that. Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright. You want to go for the hundred rounds? Sure. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't realize he was gone. My bad. Alright, we going back. That's an admission to find anything. Yeah, he's just going to a stand and ask him to accept Bitcoin. Accept <laughs> Bitcoin. Yeah, one Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is worth more than the actual fucking thing. First purchase of the day, bro. I know. They got an ATM right there, Cole. So if you really want something. I said they got an ATM right here, so if you really want something. Oh, that account coming soon. Sorry.
Trenches. So the trenches is where you go when when you're still a nerd and a virgin, you know, but you're out of the trenches when you subscribe to Dumbass Productions, you know? That's that's just what's up. That's what's up. And you're even better off if you subscribe to Coles Collectibles. Exactly! <laughs> Damn, bro. Abe's the one that's spending the most money on all of us, <laughs> bro. Uh, hey, what's that behind me? What's behind me right now? Who knows? Godzilla. <laughs> Iron Man. Silver Surfer. Cool question. Round, round, uh, fucking shit. The four main superheroes who do you think would be for like a round, uh, um, um, Mount Rushmore, fucking shit. I can Mount Rushmore, Superman, Marvel, yeah. 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 and DC. Yeah. I'd say Batman, Spider-Man, Superman are guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Those are all, those three are obvious ones. Um, and then I think it would need to be an Avenger, probably. I'd say Iron Man. Iron Man, yeah. Iron Man or Cat. What do you think for the four, like... So, we're going to go with... Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> what about you, Abe? Uh, Superhero is like top four. Uh... <laughs> My top four or just in general? No, no, you can goof your top four and then in general. Okay, my top four. Uh, Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Major Ray Bill. Mm -hmm. uh, Doctor Strange. Alright, mm -hmm. yeah. fucking Black Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> I'm sure Black Panther would be Black Panther. Right. Right. And then just in general, who do you think are like the top four superheroes? Uh, Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, and then Black Panther. Black Panther, you think? Yeah. I said Iron Man. Then again, you gotta have some diversity in there, so we don't try to cancel you. <laughs> Just realized I haven't been recording much, but uh, I'm about to leave. So, uh, <laughs> cool. Any final thoughts on this experience? It was it was kind of lame. I'm not gonna. Lie. Oh, oh, mama, this shit was hella. Uh, to be honest, it was pretty mid. But uh, I got the autograph. Besides that, only other money I spent was on this fucker, and then he paid me back through PayPal. Of course, of course. And that was a whole experience of just sitting there and being dumb. Is my card declined? So, uh, yeah. What you get, Cole? Let's, let's, let's see what you got. Go pops. I got, you can't really see him that well. I got, I got all my, I got Flock Talks, I got Gigantomachia, I got the thing of Pokemon cards, and I got my fat gum. Funko Pop sign. My Kyle Hebert. Let's go. I mean, if you want to see more close ups of, this, of that shit, uh, go to Cole's Collectibles channel. Of course! Of course! Asian <laughs> Bone Hundred. You're stupid, bro. Yeah, I can't make That's crazy. I'm in the. Oh, yeah, I'm in the. 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 I'm in the.
Top G? Bro, I, I agree with him. You met Top G yesterday? We met Top G! He was eating chicken and shit. He did almost, he yeah. does DoorDash now. He does DoorDash. <laughs> That's, door <laughs> That's what we're ending on. Top G doing DoorDash. We're back, fellow nerds and virgins, and we're back at the man cave, like I like I was just saying. Um Stockton Con was um pretty mid. And I'll explain relatively quickly why. Um everyone had the same thing. And it's uh, the main reason for that is to sell things quickly, but because the thing is so popular and it isn't rare, it's just everyone's probably going to have it. And everyone probably already bought it already. But obviously you still want to capitalize on those who don't have it. But, you know, obviously it doesn't always work out. Um, aisles were really short. Or not really short, but really small. So when walking, there was constant traffic jams. And of course, there's always those people who smell like absolute dog shit and don't make any... Don't try to make a change to try and smell good when they're going to go out in fucking public. I don't give a shit if you smell like shit when you're at your house or your house smells like shit. But when you go out in public, please make sure to put on deodorant, cologne, something. Just shower in general. Just, I don't, I really hate that people like decide to smell like absolute dog shit and then go to cons. That's the type of shit that really gets people who collect... And people who are nerds, like, bad stigmas. Like, just really annoys me. Just like, I, I, as much as I say the nerds and virgin shit, I really don't like the stigma of nerds being these smelly fucking, these smelly dumbasses who just can't, who talk about nothing but anime or some type of thing that they like. And that's all they talk about and that's what their whole world is, right? I hate that stigma. And, you know, I just, in a way, I somewhat try to eliminate it, even though I make the whole joke of, hey, welcome fellow nerds and virgins, you know. You know, but that's kind of because of, uh, I take inspiration from Cody Covington. <laughs> he wants you to see, then you obviously know who that is. But, um, back to actual stuff. Rob Van Dam pop signed. And Rob Van Dam was a really cool guy. This is actually the only thing I got. So, yeah. Really cool. And uh, he did actually have... I guess he has a YouTube page. And it does kind of... The cool thing about this is it's basically like a little authentication thing for me at least. At least that's how I see it. And then I actually stick the sticker on. It's in a little plastic thing. You just can't see it because it's in the pop protector. So, pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Rob Van Dam was pretty cool. Two other things I got, which just came in the mail. I didn't actually buy these at the con. I got this uh, Uzaki-chan wants to hang out bag. Just based off the anime, but I personally just read the manga. Not that the anime is bad or anything. I just don't have uh, Crunchyroll. And I know Crunchyroll like makes you wa uh, watch ads if you don't you know, subscribe to it. Which, you know, it's better than just not being able to watch it at all. But I'd rather read the manga. For some reason, this is not for sale at the bottom, too, which I thought was strange. And uh, I don't know if this was, like, bags that were given to staff members or something. It is kind of thin, though, admittedly. Like, it is really, really thin, but uh, it's cool, though. I like it. I'm not going to be carrying too much stuff in it. This is probably what I'm going to be using when I uh, go out to, uh, you know, film videos and when I go to little comic book shops and stuff. Just sucks that sometimes, like... Because of bad people, you can't really just wear your bags in places. You know, one you know one dumbass fucks it up for everyone else. Which just sucks because, you know, it'd be cool for me to be able to wear this pretty much everywhere. But of course, you know, because dumbasses love to steal shit with these types of bags and stuff. Like, you know, they fuck over everyone else. So, but um, besides that though, I did get this Cocaine Bear t-shirt from my... I like to say my boy, but he really doesn't know me. Or at least he doesn't know me in person. Uh, Angry Lemonade. Um, he's the same person who actually made my profile pic. If you couldn't tell by the similar styles of the actual bear and my profile pic. But uh, I really do love this t-shirt. I love the fact that he added the white powder in the letters. And also just around the whole bear. Only thing that I could say is a, a negative is the fact that uh, I think Cocaine Bear was actually a black bear. 
not a brown bear. I mean, I don't necessarily mind that much because it's just a cool t-shirt and I love the artwork. But just, you know, if you were, if I really wanted to be an asshole, be like, bro, he was a fucking black bear. What the fuck? Like, no. I think I'm all down for people just being creative anyways. So, yeah, there's that. I guess that'll be it for this video. Um, a little disappointing, admittedly. Um, sorry that it wasn't as as good as it sh could have been. With especially with Cole being in it, you know, should have been a bit more funner. But just the con wasn't all that fun. And I personally don't like the um, I forget what they're called, but it's just where you sit and like you watch them talk with the like fame pretty much famous people like whether it's voice actors or whoever i personally don't like those and just it's not my thing if i want to watch people you know talk like celebrities that i like talk i'll fucking watch a podcast i'm not gonna sit there in a fucking place with some shitty chairs for three hours to, or an hour and a half just to hear them talk but uh yeah i guess we'll we'll just end this shit here and uh, just always remember to take care of yourself. And remember, you do matter. You know, you know, you do have value. And the first person that should see value is, is you. You should see value in yourself. So, all right. I mean, <laughs> shit, I'm just kind of rambling here. Someone always will care about you as well. There is a person out there who cares about you. So, uh, ciao. And I hope I'll see you beautiful motherfuckers next time. Peace.